Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Jackie Fish, and welcome back to some more Bannerlord Online, the brand new MMO mod uh, for Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. It's been absolutely wild. Uh, we went ahead and had some insane viewership yesterday on the stream, so I want to say a massive thank you, guys, to that. As well as that, the servers went up to 1,200 players in the server, and it was running really, really well. The server did end up going down, but that's because the developers spawned in about 1,200 bandits, uh, where and that just caused a bunch of issues with all the players like jumping in on them and all the battles that were happening it was pretty insane i'll even put up a screen uh, a video on your screen right now of the actual affair as well it was insane watching everybody run around really really crazy uh, but in today's video what i'll do is i'll show you guys basically how to make money at the current stage in the mod do keep in mind that this mod itself is still very much in the early state uh, there's still so much that the developers want to add and are going to add uh, they recently put up a post over on their discord showing their future plans uh they're planning on uh, obviously fixing a lot of the crashes that's kind of something they're really working towards uh right now uh they're planning on uploading a two eu servers eu1 and eu2 and you're going to be able to transfer your character from the first russian server over to the eu servers if that's what you want to do which is obviously great news so you don't lose any progress they're planning on adding a junk dealer for unnecessary items in cities so you can sell your crappy items they're also planning on giving you the ability to level up skills in the arena again that's awesome uh more more kind of hardcore bandits as well so you'll be running up, up against some you know pretty high level opponents on the open field and again that'll give us something to do whilst we're waiting for kingdoms and pvps and all that stuff being added in as well as that, they're also planning on adding in the trade license, allowing us to basically trade on the, you know, in cities with other players, uh, which is awesome. You know, it's basically going to be like an auction house. Again, that stuff is going to be great for making money. But, you know, for now, I'm going to show you guys everything you can do to make cash at this current moment in the game. Because, again, as soon as that trade license comes in, players will starting to be, you know, start putting some pretty high tier items on the marketplace at their own price. So, again, you're going to need to start having a bit of that cash. So, the first thing you want to do, if you've loaded up this game for the first time, the most important thing to do right away I highly recommend you do it is go to the tavern and talk to this man right here okay so there's actually not a man here I don't know if he's disappeared or something but there should be a guy here I think it's because I've done the main story he's no longer here uh, but there's generally a guy here called Godfrey you want to talk to him and basically follow the main storyline he'll tell you when to go get 500 gold and then end up coming back to him when you come back to him he'll progress you to go get some more soldiers get some armor and then eventually he'll ask you to go and uh, take on a bandit camp i've already done all of them quests so there's no real reason for me to go ahead and do that right now the bandit camp is literally just up here in the north of the main place right here so all you have to do is head a little bit north you'll find a bandit camp and then you'll get about five thousand gold from that you can use that gold to immediately go ahead and buy a horse i recommend you buy a horse early on it does help speed you up and obviously because this is a persistent world with you know hundreds upon hundreds of players speed is you know probably one of the most important stats in the entire game as you can't triple speed or do anything like that you know it's all just going at a set speed i think that the fastest that most people go is around about 2.8 on the open ground um so yeah it's important to get that horse early so yeah number one do the main story uh that they have in it gets you about five grand it gives you enough money to basically buy a horse uh which is going to be awesome the next thing you can do is go to villages and work on the farms. You can see there's, there's basically all these pl players doing it right now. Uh, and this is, again, one of the uh, easier ways you should definitely make money when you have that quest at the beginning of the game to go ahead and get 500 uh, denars. This is what you should come and do. Um, again, right now, this uh, village is absolutely packed with people, which is good because it actually does make you a lot of money. But the mod does eventually plan on having all of this working around the world. When everyone has kingdoms and their own cities, they're going to rely on on their own farms to produce their city food unless they want to buy it from another city um, so right now this farm is packed but eventually you know players will start to spread out and kind of go into the other parts of the kingdom when they do conquer castles and adding kingdoms and stuff like that um, so again you what you're going to do is basically just to start your job go over to this guy and you just want to talk to him. Uh, so if you have a task with me, he'll go ahead and tell you, yeah, these are the growing requirements. So basically, if you're hilling, you're getting 10 gold. If you're planting, you're getting 15. Watering, 20. Harvesting, 40. So 40 does pay for the most. Um, but generally, uh, it's watering is probably one of the more important ones. As well as that, something really important to keep in mind is you do not get paid unless the crop has been given in. So if you're plowing, if you're right at the beginning of the cycle and you plow a bunch of territory, uh, you won't get paid for that until the crop has been harvested and
and handed in. I'll quickly show you guys everything you need to do. So all you have to do to go ahead and start this is just go up to the tool, press F, you go ahead and gain this tool, and you'll basically be tasked with uh, going up to some you know fresh soil. You'll be asked to uh, to go ahead and prepare it. Now there is a limit to the amount of uh, of soil that you can plant. I think it's something like 40 uh, across one plantation. So, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, sowing the seeds or plowing, plowing the land isn't actually the best idea because if you do it and you do this, uh, sometimes it won't spawn anything and you'll just waste your time. Uh, the next thing you can do is obviously going ahead and uh, going ahead and planting. That's harvesting, sorry. Uh, seeds are right here, yeah. So the next thing you can do is going ahead and planting. I, was, I need to press G, sorry, to get rid of my tool. I mean, I should be able to uh, wear the seeds. For some reason, the uh, seeds weren't actually working over there. So I'll just go over to this one in the center. Uh, you basically just pick this up. Obviously, you go over to some new plowed ground uh, once it's been watered and you can actually just straight up, uh, you know, plant some seeds. Uh, and that will go ahead and again net you some money. For some reason, all of these need to be watered. So that brings us on to the next thing, which is really important. And you can just press G as well to get rid of your equipment and start a new job. Uh, watering is super important. Uh, this is kind of probably the, the easiest one to do because you can water like five crops at a time per kind of trip back to the lake and back. And that will again net you, you know, 20 gold each time. So every every trip, if everything gets harvested, basically nets you 100 gold, uh, which is a pretty decent way uh, to rack up money. Something that's you know really important as well is these farms are super important to the grand scheme of things. Not at the moment because kingdoms haven't really formed yet. Uh, there's no PvP at the moment on the open world yet. Um, so these farms aren't that important. Players don't need food. Um, but you know when these farms uh, do come into uh, into play, you know people you know actually farming is going to be so important because players are going to need this food to feed their armies to sell in the open market. So having these farms operational and working well uh, and having the peasantry actually you know, providing food for your nation is going to be super, super important. And that's why this is going to be really fun. The developers have also said as well that they're planning on adding in all different types of uh, of like resource gathering. So wood cutting, mining and all them resources as well. So right now you might just think this is a good way to make money, but you're actually having a big effect on the open world, like I said, because you're producing the resources that the cities and the castles and the workshops are all going to use. You know, mines are going to produce steel and iron. Uh, sorry, steel and iron that you'll be able to then use on the workshops and the blacksmiths. So then blacksmiths are going to be able to craft weapons that are going to be sold to the people in the kingdom. And, uh, you know, that's going to then allow them to fight better. Uh, which is really, really exciting. So that's going to be uh, that's going to be the, uh, the the watering. You just basically just need to go to the river, collect some water, come back, and you know water whatever is available. Inevitably, after a couple waters, they will then uh, go ahead and shape up into this. So to harvest. And do the final thing in the farm. Uh, what you want to do is come over here, pick up the sickle, uh, and then just go up to any of the uh, any of the yellow wheat like this, uh, and then uh, start harvesting. I mean, after you've harvested like five or six bits of wheat, uh, you'll see your your bucket fill up, and then when it's full, you're gonna to want to come over here uh, and basically drop it off right here. You'll be putting it, put the wheat in the warehouse. And then once you're done there, you can just, you know, go back here. I don't think it, pretty much any of the wheat that I've done has been harvested or anything like that. So I probably won't be making any money whatsoever. But if I go over here about my work, I get 40 gold because one of the wheats that I just cut down has now been harvested. And I think you can definitely, you know, get a group together and just go to a farm and make a ton of money uh, by doing all of this stuff. So that's kind of one of the, the, I'd say, the easiest ways to make money. The next way, what you can do is if you go over, we won't bother cutting this because we're, we're right here. The next thing you can do is do quests to go ahead and get items. So that's one of the objectives in the game right now. So right now, I've got a quest from the artisan to get some arm wraps, a spiked mace, a hatchet, a blacksmith hammer and he'll give me a set amount of money depending on that the money is actually quite good and i highly recommend that you guys all go to the artisans to actually grab these because they're always good just to have one unfortunately you can only have one of these quests but i'm sure the modders will be uh will be um adding in more quests and other other ways to make cash through this kind of quest system because i think it's a pretty fun way like whether it's like a kill quest that'd be pretty cool actually to go around and um you know basically just like kill 50 looters and then you get a bunch of money something like that would be quite cool so if you guys want to know where the artisan is you can just go into any of the cities press alt you'll be able to see all the other players that are currently in the city uh, and you'll make your way over to the artisan you can see he's 100 uh but away, I don't really know what they measure it in. Uh, but you basically go over to this artisan uh, and you're asking for a mission, and he'll give it.
it to you, he'll tell you how much he's willing to pay. Now, these are linked, so you can't just go get an artisan mission from every place, like every single individual city. All the cities have basically the same chain. If you have one, that's your limit. But yeah, as I said, I would really love to see like a kill chain just going off and killing looters, because you're basically going to have to kill looters anyway. So yeah, basically go up to the artisan, you talk to him. And that's a great way of doing it. The next way is uh, probably whilst we're here, we might as well show you guys. Even though the trader is probably packed, so I won't be able to see him. Uh, it's actually not that busy. Maybe I can get lucky. Uh, you're going to want to go up to this trader. You're going to want to go ahead and ask for cargo. It says it's busy right now because um, only one person can look at the cargo at a time. Um, but yeah, what I'll do is I'll go to a different city and I'll show you guys how the cargo stuff works. And that's basically going to be the trading, uh, which is going to be really exciting when they add proper open world PvP. Because you're going to be raiding trade caravans and uh, stealing all that stuff. And they have said they are planning on adding in the open world PvP uh, relatively soon. So let's go to another city and I'll show you guys how that works. Okay, so we're just arriving at Lyricon now, and we'll be able to, hopefully there won't be that many people here, because unfortunately right now you can only, one person can only use the trade window at a time, so I highly recommend if you're planning on starting a trade caravan, that you don't do it from the main cities uh, right away, like at the beginning of the spawn, because they're just going to be packed with people, everyone's going to be spam clicking it, it's just not worth it, until the developers go, did you guys see that horse? Oh my god. Uh, yeah, until the, uh, until the developers change it so that multiple people can look at it at the same time, it's just not really worth it. Um, so yeah, let's make our way over um, to the guy. There are a few people around there, but I'll basically wait until we do have the opportunity to uh, to do it. There's only a handful of people here, so shouldn't be too bad. I assume these uh, these cute gals here are also waiting. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll wait until they can, and I'll show you guys all about the trade window. Okay, there we go. I managed to go ahead and get up a trade window. Basically, you'll get a ton of a list of basically cargoes to go to different towns. Each town you'll have to pay a deposit and. And then you'll get money for actually delivering it. So on the left, or right here, the number on the left is how much you have to pay. And on the right is how much you get when you do deliver it. This is going to make it very interesting when I say they add in open world PvP. Because, you know, you're going to have to put down a down payment on this cargo. And if you don't make it to your destination, you're going to end up losing money on it. And the people are going to be able to take that cargo and then they're going to be able to sell it for their own. So uh, you're going to have to end up probably buying some caravan guards and having other players protect to in the open world. Uh, so yeah, basically all you have to do is you have to find a city that you want to go to. Uh, obviously you have to have enough money and you also have to have enough storage. You're going to want to go ahead and pick up some old mules because they give you a, a decent amount of carry capacity. Um, as you can see right there, the server's just been increased to 800 players. Again, they're just kind of real stress testing it right now. Um, we, As I said, we got up to 1200 yesterday, which was just insane. Um, but yeah, basically you go ahead and pick a cargo. Uh, you pay what you need for the deposit and then you, you basically then just travel it um, off into the, the city that you have picked. Now it does take time um and without the excitement of open world pvp you only really have to worry about looters attacking you um so right now it's something you can do uh, it's okay there aren't really a ton of skills in the game at the moment there's a couple trade ones which give you extra speed when you when you got pack animals there's a couple leadership ones and a couple medicine ones so nothing really uh that crazy at the moment obviously they're planning on adding them but yeah you just go ahead and buy that cargo uh with uh with your speed i mean you can just head off to whatever city it is and then to hand it in all you have to do is go over to the same trader and then go take this load and he will uh, actually accept it and give you the money he promises along with the deposit back as well you actually gain that deposit back when you hand him the uh, actual cargo but obviously if you lose it on the open world then you are pretty screwed um so yeah the next way you can also make money as well is going over to the arena as well uh, you can do this in every single uh, village right now there are actually a handful of people doing it right here uh, but you want to sign up for a fight there's uh three people here again you want to go to probably more of the uh, the, the larger cities to do this um you go ahead and fight in here it does also add in AI as well, and the AI absolutely ruins us. Uh, oh my god, the AI absolutely ruined us. So if there's not enough players, it will just add in AI, and you'll be able to uh, to play them. But obviously, if there's enough people in your, your specific city, you'll be able to fight them as well. God, the AI are brutal, man. Okay, okay, we maybe got this. I blocked that. I'm blocking that. Okay, I got wrecked. Uh, basically, if you win this, you'll gain 50 gold. It's a good thing to do every so often to kind of get yourself a little bit of money. And as I said at the beginning of the video, they are planning on adding in 
Uh, they are planning on adding in uh, the ability to gain skills as well. So whenever you use weapons, it's going to be a good place to kind of level up. Now, the final way to gain money at the current moment before they add in the vendor to, to sell items to, before they add in the trade license so you can basically use the auction house, the night, last thing you can do, kind of do is basically go ahead and just kill looters. Looters will give you a small amount of money and a small amount of loot. Right now, it's obviously not as valuable because uh, you can't go ahead and really sell that loot until they add in that trash vendor. Uh, but you do gain some money for killing these guys and you also level up your own forces as well as level up your leadership also. So uh, yeah, let's just go kill these looters. I'll show you guys how much money you get from them. Obviously, the larger the looter size, the more money you get, the better equipment you get. And that all kind of piles up. So right now, I'm going to be fighting this battle with this other guy as well, which is always really cool. Uh, battles, you can have up to five people at one time. Uh, if more people join, uh, then they just join in the next kind of wave after this battle is over. Uh, before we exit out to the open world, the next round will just start basically. Think of it like a wave system. Um, which is, yeah, a really cool system. And as well as this, people are... So, oh my god, more looters have come. So you'll see it. This is perfect. Another big group of looters actually have actually just arrived. Because, uh, again, this battle doesn't slow down. Like, the world doesn't stop because we're in this battle. The world is currently going on. Uh, oh my god. Let's get my horse archers to start moving on and doing their thing. Uh, yeah, this is a little bit scary, honestly. There are a lot of looters here. Let's uh, get ourselves stuck in. Tell my infantry to charge now. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of them. And we are getting absolutely smashed right now. My God. Oh, my God. We are getting slaughtered. How are we doing so bad? Oh, we won. Why is it red? Okay, thank God. That scared me. I saw that red and not the green. I think it's because my the AI was getting a lot of the kills. Not the AI. So the other person in this battle with me, uh, this guy was getting a lot of kills. Um... Oh, God, my heart sank there. It really did. Uh, and we'll, we'll get these hatchets. Because, again, as soon as they add in that trash, ven trash vendor, it's always good to have some items to sell. Uh, and you, you would have saw in the bottom left, we would have made, I don't know, about 70, 80 gold from that. So, again, it's not really the most profitable way, but it does also go ahead and allow you to get these items as well. Uh, I haven't seen, seen a single spiked mace drop, so I don't know if that's uh, even in the game yet. Uh, but, yeah, that's basically all the ways you can currently make money in Bannerlords Online, the brand new MMO-esque mod with a persistent world. Yeah, it's absolutely wild. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to drop a like and a comment down below. If you enjoy and you want to see more of my adventures on this mod, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I've been streaming this the past couple of days, um, which have been a just absolute blast. Hopefully, we'll go ahead and be able to do some more exciting stuff later today. Uh, but yeah, make sure you're subscribed. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this mod down below in the description. Is it something you're going to be playing? Are you going to be waiting until the EU servers come out? Are you going to be waiting until a couple months, until July, where they've said they really want to have a, a much more stable version, you know, when it comes to July? Uh, or are you just going to be playing it now and having a good time? I will also link the mod itself and also their Discord down below in the description, so definitely worth checking out. And I'll see you guys in the next one.